Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in the game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, here with Penn Quaker tight end, Ryan O'Malley at Villanova's Pro Day. Now, Ryan, I've seen you work out at Temple's Pro Day. I've seen you play versus Yale. I've seen you versus um, Villanova, where you upset those guys. Mm -hmm. The first one, I think, in what, yeah. like over 100 something years? Something like that. Yeah, something yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So, and one thing I like about your game, you're your classic in line tight end. Right. And I think the tight end position gets treated like the running back position where they yep. think it's going by the wayside, but being able to do both, how important is that to you and what you bring to the table? Right, so I mean, being an inline tight end, you obviously, you gotta know how to block. You gotta be comfortable lining up with your hand in the ground, mm -hmm. being able to block, you know, the 300 pound defensive ends, the tackles, all that kind of stuff. But so you gotta be able to run downfield too. So you gotta have the quickness and the, the strength to, uh, you know, run a route and block. So I think I'm a pretty good combination of both. Well, I don't, I mean, to be honest, the two pro days, I don't think you've dropped the ball yet. So, I mean, what part of your game do you feel as though is very underrated? I think you're a great receiver in addition to your blocking, but right. what part of your game do you think people are vastly underrating? Uh, well, I think people kind of underrate, underrate my speed just because mm -hmm. I line up and I block a lot, and mm -hmm. they don't really get to see me run downfield that much. But I've been working on my speed a ton. I think that's probably the most underrated part of my game. Now, seeing you guys play against uh, Yale and also Villanova, and just seeing a lot of Ivy League football in general this past year, I think the talent has definitely increased over the last five seasons how great is the talent in the Ivy League and the underrated part of what people don't understand about what's going on with I, the ancient eight I got you I mean I, I would put our conference up against any FCS conference in the in the country really mm -hmm. I mean just because we don't get to go to playoffs so you know not a lot of people we kind of fly under the radar mm -hmm. a little bit but we got great talent we got a bunch of guys already in the league Brandon Copeland from my school a bunch of guys a couple guys from Princeton you know and then I mean even just looking at the talent that's coming out this year, there's a bunch of guys, and I think we all have legitimate shots of playing in the league. And so, I mean, it's uh, we're definitely underrated, but I think the Ivy League's definitely coming up, and people are going to start taking notice soon. Yeah, definitely. And you look at the fact that, again, you participated in two pro days, Temple and here, um, the well, two ones that I've been in right. attendance here. What do you want to accomplish when you come out here in front of these scouts? This is your second showcase. Right. So, I mean, that's exactly what it is. It's a showcase. So you just want to be able to show what you do. I mean, if you kind of fly under the radar coming out of a smaller school, so you come out here and you just want to get noticed. So you got to stick out in something, you know, get 40, the, the uh, agility drills and positional drills, and hopefully you stick out and get at least a couple of interviews afterwards. Just get, let the scouts uh, hopefully know your name after you leave here. And bring them right back to that tape that you've put up, exactly. up for four years at exactly. Penn. So definitely wish you the best of luck moving forward, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. No problem. Good job.